Welcome back to another episode of Coastal Boating. We're down here at the Boca Inlet for the Boca Bash. We got here around 7 o'clock in the morning and this guy was already on the beach. The story we were told was he was out bait fishing and either wasn't paying attention, lost power, or something like that, and ended up on the beach. I'm not sure he ever told the cops what happened because they're on board investigating, going through pretty much everything on the boat. I was told the electronics were all left on. Fast forward until about five o'clock, our crew is back with the tide coming back in. Now is the time for them to try and rescue their own boat. It looks like they invited their entire neighborhood, all the family, friends, and anybody he could find, so he didn't have to hire a salvage crew. Now they're gonna try and push the boat so the bow is facing out into the ocean. Then they need to just all keep pressure on the side of the boat to keep the waves from pushing it right back to where it was. You can see the wiggling's working. They're getting it further and further into the water. Tide's still coming up. You can see the seaweed line there. So they still have a good amount of time here. They really just need to wait for the perfect set of waves to get under that boat, and then they can push it if they're ready. Now they finally did it. They got the boat off the beach. It is floating. Now we have mom climbing on board. It looks like the son is already on board. And now she's going through her bags. I'm guessing she's looking for the keys to the boat. Why they didn't get this all ready before the boat was floating, I, I don't know. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. If it was me, I'd make sure everything was ready to go as soon as that boat hit the water, put that engine down and go. It looks like she finally found the keys and she's trying to start the boat. But I am, I would almost put money on it that when that sheriff was on board doing his investigation, he probably turned the battery switch off so that the thing didn't go dead. But now our crew here needs to figure that out before they can move. Meanwhile, all their friends and family are on the water trying to keep that boat from re-beaching itself. I'm just going to let this clip roll so you can see how long it takes them to get this boat running. Okay, I think they they finally got the power on, but look how close they're getting to the rocks here. That is not good. They need to move quick. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh, here they go. Here they go. 
And I think he finally gets the motor started just in time. And they are finally off the beach. I bet it's a huge relief. He owes his entire neighborhood a beer. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit subscribe, turn on bell notifications so that you know when we post our next video. We have a lot more coming from the Boca Bash, so stay tuned.